How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today's video is a collab with Trish Oliver. We're doing our January favorites. So if you guys are interested in seeing what my January favorites are, keep on watching. So I'm very excited about this video today because I'm doing it with Trish Oliver. I have known her for Oh my goodness, probably the last several years since getting together with a lot of the mature beauties in the beauty community. And if you don't know who Trish Oliver is, I will have a link down below to her video and channel. Please go check her out. Show her some love and subscribe if you like. I don't even know where to begin because Trish Oliver is somebody that is very special. She is somebody that would go out of her way and help anybody or even I see her and her husband they even help deer you know like take care of deer uh, dogs just every living being and thing out there I mean just she just has this very gentle kind heart and I think that's what a lot of us get attracted to her is she is very daring she does have clients who she does their makeup and everything and you can see that, that she knows very well of makeup because you'll see it when she's doing her get ready with me's, um, when she's sharing any tips or ideas or showing you simple ways to do something. Also, I would have to say she's one of those ones who does pique my interest in a product. She, she somehow can talk me into a product and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just take it off of her recommendation. But I think it's because of the way she is as as a person in general anyways I trust her opinion on products when she's showing them so as I said I'll put a link down below to her channel please go check her out share some love and subscribe so we're sharing our January favorites and we're gonna get into this uh, if you are new to my channel and you came from Trisha's channel welcome I hope you stick around and subscribe hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified when my videos are uploaded and ready to watch. I will timestamp, I put the time of like if there's just something more interesting to you, you want to see about the skincare or the makeup, I will put the times down below so you can just go ahead and go to that area if you want to, that's up to you. So let's get into the hair care. The first thing I'm going to share with you guys, I've had this several different times in my favorites, but it's in here and in my favorites for a reason. Continuously use them and realize why I do really enjoy them and love them so much. And that is the company Brew. They have a lot of shampoos and conditioners. You're probably seeing them in your Walmart now. For a while there, I didn't see them. They were hard to get. And there's several different ones. I really like this one here, Daily Detox for the Hair and Scalp. So if you get any kind of product buildup on your scalp that you want to help remove and get rid of and start a fresh and clean with your scalp, this would be the one that you would want to get is the ones with the green labeling on and I really really love these two products it does have peppermint in it so if you're not a big fan of peppermint scent or anything you probably won't like it but I like the peppermint scent it does give my scalp that fresh clean feeling with the tingling sensation like you do with a lot of them so this product here was sent to me by a little Hawaiian beauty friend Ronlin Nipo we did a box exchange and she sent me the Maui curl smoothie uh, coconut quench curl smoothie from Maui I haven't really gotten a chance to try a lot of the products from this company the Maui company but I think I'm going to step into them more and this is like a nice oh it smells so oh so good you can smell the coconut in there it's a nice um, cream curl cream I really love this stuff because it does seem to give some good hair conditioning it also helps with frizzies too speaking of Ronald Lee, I'm going to show two more items we're going to go into more skincare body and uh, face and all that kind of stuff this one's actually for lips this is a lip scrub that she had sent me and it's from uh, Hanalai I think that's maybe how you pronounce it I hope so these things smell so good it has oh it just has some citrusy scent to it and it is a nice lip scrub I love this stuff this coconut and papaya hand and body scrub it's an exfoliating body scrub which you guys know I love a lot of the body scrubs and this one smells you can smell the coconut 
but you can also smell that papaya in there. Oh my goodness, it smells so luscious. I'm getting down there. So love to do that. And for the body, I love this Caress shower body cream, whatever you want to call it. And it's from Caress. It's daily silk uh, with white peach and orange blossom. Oh, I just love this one. It does have a perfume. It says world-class perfume. It does have a perfume scent to it, but the scent does stay with you for a while, but you just still feel so fresh and clean. So it is one of my favorite. I grab it all the time. Product, and it's for the face and the body. I use this mostly in fall and winter time. Now, I know it's going to scare some people only because it's a very thick cream, and I do use it on my face. I don't do it every single night. It's from Queen Helene, and it's the Marilla Face and Body Cream. I have showed this so many different times. You can purchase at your Sally's Beauty or wherever you get Queen Helene. You can look for it. And Marilla Oil, we have heard a lot about in how well it hydrates your skin and the good benefits from Marilla Oil. So it is in here in a cream, like a cream form. First, open it up and smell it. And so, like I said, it's a very thick cream. It smells yummy to me. I don't know how else to explain it other than it smells yummy. Here's how thick it is. Now, like I said, it's, it's some people would be afraid to put it on their face. Now, I do it at night, and that's what mostly everybody says they do. When you take this product in your hands and you rub it between your fingers like this, it melts more into the oil. You can see the Marilla oil more. I do it on my face. Like I said, I do it at nighttime. I don't smother a whole bunch on. I just use that very little, like almost like what you saw, and I'll push and press in, and it's like the last thing I basically do put on. When I wake up in the morning, my skin feels so smooth, so soft. My feet, my feet love this stuff. I mean, I even put it on my feet, and it felt amazing. And by the time you put your socks on, and then later on, you know, your feet just feel amazing. I love this stuff. I will repurchase it for sure. Cleansers. I have two cleansers here that I'm really liking. One I just got fairly new. It will be in an upcoming uh, haul video, but I had to put it in here because I fell in love with it already. That is from the Olay company and it's the cleansing infusion it's a hydrating glow facial cleanser with deep sea kelp and aloe extract and it's a nice pump that you have i do have another one i think it's like ginger and citrus i might try that one this smells so good on top of it all but it just feels good on the skin it is hydrating for sure and it's a really nice cleanser to work with so I am loving this stuff and it would be something I would purchase again. The other cleanser is from Aveeno and it's the Absolutely Ageless Nourishing Cleanser. This is with antioxidant rich blackberry extract. It removes 99% of skin aging impurities. I don't know if I'd say that, but it's a really nice cleanser. I've been really having good success with it. It's like a gel cleanser. And it's, it's been really good for me. I really like it. So I thought I would put it in here. I haven't used this one for a while. I really enjoy Freeman, as you guys know. This one here is the Freeman Charcoal and Black Sugar Polishing Mask. And I haven't used it for a while. I love this product. It is a good product to use if you want to get your skin feeling really clean and, you know, deep clean and everything. Now, the black sugar does... It does get a little scratchy, I guess is what I want to say. So if you don't like that kind of an exfoliant or anything, it does have, the sugar does make it kind of scratchy, but I don't mind it. It works great for me. My skin feels smooth, soft. Emily Noel recommendation too, by the way. So I really love this product. For my eyes, I actually got this little deluxe size from the It Bye Bye under eye eye cream and this is my little deluxe container it's supposed to smooth brighten and depuff under your eyes and i would say it does do that because i do notice my eyes look much better and brighten not that i get really dark under there 
but lack of sleep or anything like that, you know how it is. It would be a thought for me to purchase. I haven't jumped in yet because there's still a good bit in my little deluxe sample, uh, but it is a eye cream that I would be thinking about maybe possibly purchasing. Okay, let's go into makeup. The first thing I'm going to share with you guys is the Wonder Beauty Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. I'm going to show you guys a demonstration on this mascara. It is a really good mascara. I like this one as much as the Tarte. I go back and forth because it's like I really like the Tarte one, but I like this one. This one, I think what it is for this, the Tarte I really like because it does volumize my lashes but it sometimes can get clumpy. This one doesn't really do that for me. And that is the mas that is the mascara that I'm wearing right now. Not sure if you can see too well. Here is the wand. The wand is kind of different the way it curves all around like that. It's so different. It's like a regular bristle brush, so it's not a plastic one. You twirl it and it helps curl your lashes. It lengthens your lashes, but also volumizes the lashes. So I don't know. This kind of puts the Tarte one for run for its money for me. And mm, I'm so glad I got this product here. It's an Hourglass Ambient Powder. This one's in Mood Light. I am so glad I got I got one of the smaller ones. You know, they're like only 20 some dollars, like 20, 23, I think they're like $23. And I got this from a recommendation of Tara Babies, if you guys watch her ever. Uh, she has very fair skin, and I thought when she was, I asked her the one day, I'm like, which one was it that you said you used? And she told me it was this one here, the Mood Light. If you've never used an ambient powder, it just gives a nice, subtle, like airbrushed look to your face, but gives it a glow, sort of, not like extreme crazy glow, but it just looks so pretty. And I love this. So I would actually purchase the bigger size when I'm done with this one. I had a red lipstick on. I'm not sure which video it wasn't. It wasn't the one I just did this last. I don't believe the one I just put up on Wednesday. I'm wearing a red lip. I think it's the one before that. This is one of Mally's lipsticks. I don't think she has these lipsticks anymore as far as I know. This one's in crimson. So I don't even think you can get it anymore, but this is the color I was wearing. And I would, thought I would share it with you guys because everybody was complimenting on my red lips. And it was the color crimson. Oh, there you go. It is pretty red red. True red, I guess, is what you'd want to say. What I'm wearing right now, and I do like them. They're the uh, Maybelline Matte Ink Liquid, Liquid Lipsticks. This one's in Lover, number 15, Lover. <laughs> Perfect to have for Valentine's Day. And these have the really nice doe foot applicators with the hole in the middle. And it's just perfect to work along on your lips. And they are really nice. They do dry down. Um, I'm not having a problem with them. I might try and get some other colors. I know, I'm not sure my Walmart don't carry um, NYC anymore. But this lipstick here I got when my Walmart had an NYC and this is a really nice color. It's Sugar Plum. NYC 418 is the number and it's in Sugar Plum. I wore this. This might have been what I wore in my last video. I'm not sure. And it's just a nice kind of a neutral shade. I think so anyway. It's just a really pretty color. Right there it is. So I've been pulling that out lately. This one here I really like from Rimmel. I like the packaging for one. Rimmel does have some nice packaging sometimes with their products. I was like that crown on the top. And I'm not sure what they're calling these ones, but if you see it with that shape like the crown and everything, this is in 700 and it's called Naughty Nude. At any rate, this is supposed to be they say a dupe. I don't have this lipstick. It's from MAC and it's the Teddy one. What's that one called? Something Teddy, Teddy something. It's very popular and it's from the MAC collection. You guys are probably sitting there trying to tell me what it is and I can't think of what the name of it. Velvet Teddy. 
There we go. Thanks. Thank you. And that's what this is supposed to be, I guess, a dupe for. That's what I've heard. I don't know because, like I said, I don't have that one. But it's called Naughty Nude, and it's in Rim. It's from Rimmel. Right there it is. There. Wow, all this looks just like... On the camera, it looks almost like the other one, but they're they're not identical colors because as I'm looking, this one here has more of a pink color to it, the one from NYC, and the Rimmel one has more of a brown pink to it or something. So, but if if anybody has Velvet Teddy and you want to compare uh, Naughty Nude, there you go. Had to go let my kitty in. He wanted to come in for a bit. He was crying. I have some eyeshadow palettes I want to share too that's been in my favorites that I've been playing around a good bit. When I got my BoxyCharm is the Winky Lux uh, Kitten Palette. Speaking of cats, Kitten Palette from Winky Lux. This is a really nice palette. It has some matte colors in there and a lot of shimmer colors. I would highly recommend checking it out because if you can go to your Ulta I have the Winky Lux palette there. It's like 25 bucks. It's worth doing the swatches because some of the colors in here are just so gorgeous. The other palette I showed quite a bit in my live feeds and just in general. I was showing it a good bit and it's the one from Hard Candy called the Look Pro palette and it has like those colors that have become pretty popular with the uh, pinks and the red and the gold. So I really have been enjoying this palette and playing around with it a good bit. It is a really nice palette. $10 in your Walmart. Next one, this one here called Soph. And the X, I guess, is her little kiss. I wasn't sure if that was her name, but people were telling me her name's Soph. Uh, and it's from the Makeup Revolution. I did show this just recently in another video. And oh my goodness, like those colors are just absolutely gorgeous and I am wearing some on my eyes today I play with it three different times honestly these two palettes here if I was to say if somebody said which one would you recommend I would actually say the one for makeup revolution this one here um, not that the hard candy isn't good because obviously it's in my favorites and it's a really nice palette so I think this works even a little bit better to be honest and I just I love the color scheme in here but if you're somebody like me who loves to venture out and try colors and play around with them i highly recommend getting that palette i know alta has it now and i did order from tam beauty i would recommend ordering from tam beauty i had no problems uh my stuff got it probably took about a week and a half so that is my january favorites maybe let me know down below what your favorite has been for the month of January. I'd love to know because sometimes I get some ideas from you guys and maybe I'll get to try the product out and share it, um, share it on one of my videos. Thank you so much Trish for letting me join in with your January favorites. This was so much fun and I enjoyed it and I was honored by all means. And again, please make sure you go check out uh, Trish's video and her channel. I will have the links down below so go and check her out. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell. The bell is also important to press because it will notify you of when my new videos are uploaded and ready to watch. You'll get an email and I do upload every week so we can go ahead and keep the connection and you guys can join me and see what's new, what's going on. And also, if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That would help me out so much. I'd very much appreciate that. And also make sure you share my videos because if you do share my videos, that's also that's all that's also a good way to help me get out there and get noticed. So give me a thumbs up and share my videos. As always, beauties, please remember to just be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.